congrats on the film. I loved it and you're just great in it. But for you, just first off, how exciting is it to just be part of the MCU? What was your initial reaction like when you did land the role? I mean, if you can imagine when when I was auditioning for the part, at first I didn't even know what it was for. And then I found out it was from Marvel. And then they finally sent me like one scene from the movie and I was able to figure out that it was for Eternals and who my character was. I had no idea how much I was even in the movie. I mean, I could have been in one scene. I had no idea until, you know, you sign on and then they finally give you the script. But I mean, finding out that I was in, that I was in the MCU, I, I mean, it was just such like so many emotions and so many feelings. I mean, my mom came in the room crying and woke me up from my sleep and I thought I was dreaming. And I just started crying. I didn't know how else to react. And then my dad came in and he started crying. And I mean, and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to call everyone. But I couldn't call, like, I couldn't tell anyone. It was awful. Right. I, I mean, <laughs> you know, you get that excitement and then you're like, dang it, I can't tell anyone. <laughs> and I mean, <laughs> once you do, once it does make news that you are in the film, people know, then what is it, you know, how hard is it to then keep those secrets when people I'm sure start asking you about them? I honestly... I mean, not not in a lot of the other actors feel this way, but I think the secret keeping is kind of cool. <laughs> I mean, to know stuff that nobody else knows and to sort of tease it. And I have a lot of um, big Marvel fans who are friends of mine and they're they're just asking me some stuff. Sometimes they ask me really bizarre things that have nothing to do like with what our movie is about and like plot guesses. I love when I when I read like there's there was um something that i read one time and it was like the leaked storyline for eternals and it was nothing to do with our storyline and I, I just i laugh at it i think it's really funny <laughs> <laughs> and then i guess how do you how do you find out who else was in the cast because obviously the cast in this movie is insane everyone in it is you know bringing their a game just i guess who were you most excited to meet and did anyone maybe surpass your expectations well when i first got the part um the only thing that I knew about was like rumors. So Angie was rumored to be in it. And so was Richard. And then when, but I, okay, I knew, I knew Richard was in the movie. I wasn't sure about anyone else. And mm. then when we went to comic con, I, I got to meet a lot of the cast um, on that day when we all like were introduced on the stage. Um, I was, I was just so beyond excited to work with Richard Madden. I mean, I was such a big fan of Cinderella when I, I mean, I went to see it in theaters. I was obsessed. I had a Cinderella themed birthday party for my 11th birthday. Oh. I mean, I was just, I was so beyond like giddy and fanning him. I mean, still, I saw him at the premiere again after like a year of not seeing him. And I was like, oh my gosh, I miss you so much. <laughs> That's fun. And I was reading in the press notes that you had to memorize eight pages of Babylonian, which no one speaks anymore in two days for this movie. Did any of that stick? <laughs> um, <laughs> Is yeah, it still it, kind it, of up there? <laughs> it was a few paragraphs of Babylonian actually. And I was learning it. Um, I had a, what's it called? A, a dialect coach who okay. helped me. And she, she was actually <laughs> like, wow, you, you got it pretty quickly. So um, what, what, what I, what re I really stressed myself out about it. You know, I'm on a Marvel set. <laughs> I'm not going to screw up my lines. And it was also a speech in front of a bunch of extras on a set. And um, I mean, no, everyone had to look at me like what I was saying was so cool. And no one had any idea what I was saying. It was really of funny to shoot. I mean, I almost started laughing multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, in this, your character, you know, is just as old as the rest of your, your co-stars, the other Eternals. But obviously she's stuck in this child form forever. You are obviously also the youngest one on the set. Just what is that experience like for you as an actor? And, and does it help kind of inform how you play it too? Well, working with adults in general, especially, you know, A-list and A-list cast like this, I was really, I put a lot of pressure on myself to really live up to the expectations of all these other incredible experienced actors. Mm -hmm. I mean, I felt that they all really made me like push myself to be on their level. Um, I really felt like I was one of them. I didn't feel alienated, alienated at all. I didn't really feel like I was a kid when I was on the set. Um, I, I felt like one of them. I mean, we were all treated so well and, so, and as equals and it, it was really nice. Mm. And for you, you know, Sprite, she definitely has her own kind of sense of style. I think she's 
her, her fashion sense is so cool. I think she's just like <laughs> yeah. effortlessly cool. Um, just what did you think about that when you were starting to see the costumes and then, you know, add the super suit into that mix too? Yeah, I mean, I honestly hadn't really thought of the wardrobe when I was auditioning for it or when I even read the script for the first time. And so when I went in for the the first wardrobe, like try on, which was a couple of hours, I did not know what to expect at all. Um, we tried on a lot of different eras of clothing and I thought the costuming was brilliant because Sprite's look is sort of timeless. You know, she's been alive mm. for centuries. And so she sort of has sort of has picked a time period that she likes and that that she likes the fashion from. So she sort of dresses a little old timey. I thought it was great for the character, but it wasn't personally my style. I mean, some, you right, I saw you on the carpet the other night. <laughs> very different. <laughs> very, very different. As an actor, you sort of have to get past the embarrassment. I mean. That's the first thing you do as an actor. You, you embarrass yourself in a lot of different ways when, when you do different types of scenes. So I've already, I mean, I've totally gotten past the embarrassment. So, you know, I just, I, I rocked it. I tried my best to just be comfortable with what I was wearing and I thought it was cool. And how cool was it just when everyone finally was in their, their super suits? Just what was that first time like, I guess? It was actually a couple months into filming when we went to the Canary Islands that I mm. believe was the first time we were all in our super suits together. Um, I was a little jealous of some some of them because they got zippers to go to the bathroom and I didn't. Should have asked. <laughs> for that. The, the the things you don't know to ask for when you're when you're a superhero. Mm-hmm. <laughs> some of them even got pockets. But yeah, oh. we were all freezing and it was very windy and we couldn't see anything. And um, yeah, we would close our eyes and they'd count to three and then we'd open and, and try to look really cool, you know, for a few seconds while they shot. And then we'd be like this and then everyone would run over, and put their coats on. I mean, it was it was cool. I, it was very cool. 